Prepare to be amazed. Not bad. Maybe we should get our earrings. Just wait. For the girl who hates everything. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now my turn to cure it. Beautiful. Now I'll harden it. Even Ricky's gonna like this. You all right if I go out for a while? What for? Just. Need to see an old friend. You're not planning any surprises, are you? Surprises? No. Why? Come on, Zane, you know what today is. It's like the 12th. Oh, how could I have forgotten? Some of these bills should have been paid by the 10th. Sorry, I know how angry that fruit supply gets, but don't worry, I'll smooth things out. Anything else? No, no, that's it. Lucky I've got you to remind me of these things, otherwise this place would go under. I'd be helping you out right now, but I've got to be somewhere else. Oh? Look, Ricky will be back on deck when she finishes the accounts, but keep up the good work. Sure. Some service here? When I get there. What do you want? A spaghetti bolognese times ten plus a dozen sandwiches. Stocking up. What kind of sandwiches? Uh, whatever's quickest. What's the rush? Watch with all the questions. Like I care. Um, big orders take time. So, how soon can you deliver it? We don't do deliveries. Okay. Twenty bucks for the delivery boy. Maybe I can find someone. Here's the address. I see that you've brought an offering. How's Operation Decoration going? Uh, all set to commence mission presently. Where's the target? She's in the office. Good luck. Let's go. Yes. Come in. Hello. This isn't a birthday present, is it? Definitely not. Think of it as a really late Christmas present. <laughs> Do you want to meet us at the moon pool later, about two? Why? Um, for a swim? Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that it's my birthday, would it? No way. No, actually, it's it's something else. The three of us need to talk. It's important and kind of private. OK, well, I'll see you there then. And thanks. Um, Is there something going on that I should know about? I don't think so. I mean, you can trust me if there is. I'm cool. I'm Ricky's friend too. OK, sure. Well, if we hear anything, we'll be sure to let you know. And if I hear anything, I'll let you know. OK. Do you think Ricky saw straight through us? Definitely. Hey, but a uh, good idea on the whole private talk thing. She so thinks he meant well. Hey. I was hoping to run into you. Congratulations. I've been thinking a lot about you. Just you, not. Well, it's good to keep an active mind. You need to talk. I don't think so. You're wasting your time with her. She's so not worth thinking about. You said I was. Yeah, right. I've got a job for you.
That is a lot of food. You're a strong boy. You can handle it. This walk is miles away. Good exercise. Think of it as part of your training. Yeah, right. Delivery boy. I need you to help me out just this once. Come on, you'll be fine. Just visiting? Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, how much? Seventy-eight dollars. Uh, wait here. Shouldn't we give some to the cafe? No, you earn the tip. Sophie, I'm going to need all the money. Huh? Today's takings, I need it to finish accounts. I've been doing some serious business today. Great. So can I have the till? Sure thing. Oh! Sorry. That's okay, I'll handle the till. Do you want that back in the office? Yes, please. I suppose you know he paid me 50s today. Um, some guy wanted a delivery. Why? What's the problem? I think they're fake. What? Counterfeits? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll sort it out. Hi, did you get a delivery today and pay for it with these? Why? They're fake. Yeah, really. I thought you might want to take them down to the police station. You bet, sure. Right after you reimburse me. Yeah, of course. Come aboard. I'll go get my wallet. <laughs> Is there a problem? Looks like there's been sung with a couple of fake 50s, so I'm just fixing up the bill. Really? Give us a look. Do you remember where you got them from? Yeah, that's a good question. You remember, Chris? Look, I might leave it to you two. Don't you want to get reimbursed? I'm in a bit of a hurry, so if you can drop it at the cafe, that'd be yeah, great. I think you better stay here with I us. I really should. Just go let it go. It's all right. I don't even know your names. So it was all the same. Did I tell you it's my birthday today? Happy birthday. Maybe she got a better offer. Nah, no chance. She's probably just sulking because she's guessed what's going on. Mm, maybe we should just start without her. No, there is no way she's missing out on this one. Even if we have to drag her here. Please let me go. I don't know what is going on here. I haven't seen anything that... Oh, great. Because it's too much to 
ask that today be anything less than disastrous, but one day it begins. Save your breath, love. thing you've ever seen. Bella and Cleo gave it to Ricky as a birthday present. Really? Feel it. It's weird. It's it's just some kind of glass. That is so not glass. It must be worth a bundle. What is it? Oh, I've, I've seen stuff like that before. They, they imported by the truckload from China. So you're an art critic now. This is rare. And what's with the mermaid thing? I don't know. Nothing. You're seriously slow today. Hey, Bella. Wait, it's it's important. This won't take a minute. We need to talk. Okay, well I'm here. Talk away. I thought you'd be more careful. I'm not sure you're quite tuned into the station. I just saw that mermaid statue. The gift you gave Ricky. What were you doing poking around Ricky's stuff? Sophie found it. What'd you tell her? Nothing, but she's not going to give up till she finds out more about it. You need to keep your sister on a leash. I don't control her, and she's not stupid. Really? I know you made the statue somehow. And if you and Cleo gave it to Ricky, that, that means they must know about you too. If you say so. Look, Bella. I like you, but, but you can't keep lying to me. I've kept your secret. Why won't you trust me with the whole story? Boss is not a happy man. You think she's all right in there? This has got out of hand. You know whose fault's that, Chris? Well, it's not mine. You invited her on board. We've got a million in cash just lying around here, and you want to throw her a birthday party. I only signed on as the delivery boy. The, every single one of these is the same. You're a moron. It just says help. What does that mean? I don't know. She needs us? <laughs> it couldn't be a joke, could it? Maybe she found out about the party and she's trying to pay us back. Call her. Well, what do you suggest, Chris? I say we drop her off further up the coast. By the time she walks back, we'll be long gone. Why wouldn't she tell? <sighs> Take that offer. Her hands were tied. How was I to know? She's not answering. Try again? I did. It just it keeps going to voicemail. Why would she send that text and then not answer? Sophie? Have you seen Ricky around? She went out. Any idea where? Why? What's happening? She was supposed to meet us. There's something going on. She's not in the office. It's a party, isn't it? What did Ricky say before she left? Not much. She was steamed off about some dodgy $50 notes she got passed. What? Some guy made a delivery order and paid for it with a fake. Any idea where he was from? Don't know. Some wharf will made the delivery. So you'll let me know about the party? Oh, 
I can't reach Zane or Lewis. Am I going to parents? We need Will. No, let's not go there. Well, what if he knows where Ricky is? It's too risky. He doesn't know about you guys. What's more important, protecting our secret or Ricky? Ricky is. She's not here. Well, this is serious. Sophie said you picked up some counterfeit money from the wharf. Fake money? We think she went to take it back. You have to tell us everything you know. On one condition. You tell me everything you know about mermaids. All three of you? Yes. Were you all transformed together? No. So how long have you known about each other? Since we met, but I couldn't tell you because why don't we keep it a secret, Will? I just can't believe that Ricky's one too. Well, she is. And this all ties into Mako Island. I knew it. You could have told me, you know. I'm sorry, but we had to protect each other. I get that. OK, enough talk. Oh, yeah, she needs us. Come on. <laughs> What do you want? Hi, I wanted to thank you for the generous tip before. Whatever, don't worry about it. Nice boat. You uh, mind if I take a look around? Yeah, get off. Hey, I said get off. Get out of there. So how many does the boat sleep? What'd you let him in for? I did it. Off now. Hey, I'm just being friendly. Cops! Just set up. You get him out of here now. Ricky! I'm gonna start. Get him.
Hey, have you seen Ricky? Has this got something to do with her birthday? Matter of fact, it, it, yeah. Are we talking party here? Thing is, it's a surprise. Oh, no problem. Anything I can do to help? Sure is. Would you mind holding the fort for the afternoon? Sure. Thanks, so if you're a legend. you guys. We thought you might like it. Hey, uh, I thought you'd probably want this. You stole it out of my office. Rescued it, um, it caught Sophie's eye. Cool, I guess I have to trust you now. I can keep a secret. I certainly hope so, for your sake. Man, you guys are hard to find. What's he doing here? He saved Ricky's life when you couldn't be contacted. What? You've you've been in trouble. Long story, but we can trust him. And he knows everything. 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 Happy. Whatever. I know you've already got one of these, but a phone is exactly what I need. Ricky, come and blow your candles. Doing? We didn't even sing the, the song. Yeah, no, that's way too much fire for one day. Fire? Yip, yip. Hooray! Yip, yip. Hooray! Yip, yip. Hooray! 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 